Chelsea, great result for them. Uh, we can hear from one of their players, the youngest Chelsea player ever to score in the knockout stages of the Champions League. You can see him there, Mason Mount is with Des Kelly. Congratulations, Mason. It was a gritty, battling win with plenty of control. A good night for Chelsea all round. Yeah, um, yeah, as we know it's going to be a tough game. Um, coming into the game, we know how hard to play against them it is. We don't have many chances, but um, we kept going. Uh, we got, obviously got the goal first half and then late on in the second, and that um, obviously secured a good win, but that's only half the tie. we still got the second leg to go. Yeah, you talk about that goal. It must be a good feeling to get your first Champions League goal. You've been waiting for that. Yeah, it's about time um, it come. Well, I've been waiting, I've been waiting patiently, but it's a, it's a good time for it to come. Um, good pass by Georgie, and then I just had a bit of space, so I just hid it for, after my first touch, and yeah, it went in, so obviously I was very happy with that. Um, and then obviously it took us in at half-time, 1-0 up, in a good position. Yeah, it was a beauty. Spin and finish was lovely, and one to remember. Have you been, You've been working on your finishing, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I'm always working on it. Um, I don't think you can work on it enough you, in training, um, trying to shoot as much as I can, because that's always a part of my game where I think I can improve on and score more goals. Um, so, yeah, very happy to score one tonight, but obviously, most importantly, get the win um, going into the second leg. Yeah, well, Ben Chilwell helped you in that one. It was his first Champions League goal as well. <laughs> You've shown his pace there. Which one was better, do you think? Yeah, which one was better, do you think? <laughs> no, I've got to go with my one, but he'll say his <laughs> one. Um, but no, he showed great composure, to be fair. I thought he was going to um, shoot when he was in front of goal and then obviously he took it past the keeper. So, um, yeah, very, very good finish from him. He'll be buzzing with that. Um, and obviously, yeah, I'm happy for him as well to get his first goal. Yeah, both halves of this game were pretty cagey. It's a world away from that Premier League... 5-2 defeat at the weekend. You needed to have a reaction to that, didn't you? Yeah, definitely. And, and that was something... After the game, we kind of put it behind us and, and we say, look, we need to improve. Um, we're getting better and better. That game was something that we, we looked at briefly the next day um, and then moved on and, and we know we knew how big this game was going to be and it was going to be tough. So um, we come into the game with full focus, 100% commitment that we was going to win and give it our everything and, and I felt like we did that tonight. Yeah, and Porto a very stubborn side as we've seen in the last round. So the job's not quite done yet, but a great night. Not quite done. Yeah, the job's not done. Um, as I said, they're going to come and they're going to fight for the next leg um, and we're going to have to give it our all again. Um, and it's in, I think, a week, so, yeah, we'll be ready. Thanks very much, Mason. Yeah, it's not quite done yet, but um, they're a long way towards it, aren't they? There's no question about that. And good to see that one player admits that they do some finishing practice. Pays off, mm -hmm. you see, Glenn. Well, I didn't say, <laughs> I didn't, didn't say it didn't pay off. It's just I like the, what, what yeah. Tuchel did. He mustn't let Tuchel hear that interview, obviously. <laughs> He'll be on his back. But, um, uh, no, the young kid, he, he, he's got a smile on his face. Every time he goes on the telly after he's had a, yeah. a game, he's mature. He's a player that knows how to play so many different positions, doesn't yeah. he, Mason Mount? And he is a top-quality player, and he's proving that. I yeah. don't know why there's any, any sort of question marks The, the him, debate really. rolls on, but I think he's convincing more and more people. He shouldn't yeah. need to now, because he's, he's terrific every game he plays, and he's got it's such just, a... You know, he's got the technique, he's got ability. He's got skill, he's got energy. He's a manager's dream because yeah. not only has he got this natural ability and he affects the game in the final third, like, you know, the, the imagination to take that on his back foot on the blind side of the defender and then the, then the ability to strike. Not only has he got all of that, he's a manager's dream because he, he, he does it, the tactics to the T off the ball. He was so much better. And I said it last week and I said, in that difficult spell when he had... Uh, just, bef just before they changed the managers, when nobody was playing well, he stood up. So he's a leader as well. He was left out the first game by Tuchel. He went for experience, yeah. which is often the way what they do. And long to learn how important he was. And look, since he's taken charge of, of Chelsea, uh, Tuchel, that Mason Mertz is top scorer, as you can see for yourselves there. I mean, the, the skill that we've just seen there, what impressed me is that mm. to do that skill is great, but it's put himself in mm. on one touch. Yeah. You know, we're always about of touch when you're faced up and always oh, touch yeah. was good. He's on he's got his back to go.
back to play. The next yeah. minute, his next touch, first touch has put him in on goals. And then he's just drilling it in the box. Let's have another look. It's well worth. I mean, that first touch there. It's exquisite, Ria. Yeah. It's beautiful. I mean, it brings it straight into his path. He's, and he's one touch to shoot straight away. He's not the, even the got a keep, sit here again. It's odd the keeper went with his feet there. Yeah, the it? keeper could have done better. But I think it's better we talk about the finish. But what, what I like about him is his movement off the ball to get on the ball. And I think once the other players start realising that he actually makes movements to get beyond yeah. the, depend, the defenders on the other team and start playing that ball a little bit longer than a 10 yard to feet, yeah. he'll, he'll get more opportunities at goal because he, he made runs today that no one saw and he was in if they played the ball forward. Yeah. Um, did he score the goal of the game or <laughs> was that chill? Well, individual effort, well, but that's... different. Different, both equally good. This was on all the time, wasn't it, Glenn? I mean, it's this ball, this, yeah. this was, should have been the game in a nutshell. Find the wing-backs, terrible play from Corona. He's nicked it. That's, that's the touch there, what done. He takes it to his path. Great composure there, and then he, he just toes it in with his right. And it's, to score his first champion, he'd be delighted, Chilwell, because he, he's, he's come under fire. There's a bit of pressure on him now. Alonso's putting a bit of pressure. So to do that late on in the game, for me, that's the game over now. Yeah, I really should be. Do, I, Two nil, two away goals. I know the playing at the same ground but they, they've got to continue hitting the wide areas we saw it against Juventus if they go in if, if Juventus have played wide and when they did they got openings if you play just through the middle if you're playing just down the area that they want you to play and they play narrow they play compact the minute you spread the game they open them up and it makes it difficult yeah. for them it seems to me that uh, Israel kind of here too the, the key against the side like Porto is getting the lead yeah. it makes life so much easier doesn't it because if they score first they sit back and they're so hard to break down. A little, a little bit like at the game Madrid. That's how they, they were at the yeah. dangerous. They're yeah. sim similar ill, can't they? They're, yeah. they're quite similar. Who they played in the last the Managers are quite similar in, their, yeah. in the way they are passionate. Yeah. But no, I think this... I mean, he's played the wing-backs ever since he's come in. Too. Yeah. I mean, Frank played wing-backs. They played three yeah. at the back and they had some really good performances. But then it went back to a four and yeah. it was... He's gone, we know how to play this. And they're very difficult to play against Chelsea. Mm. Even not at their best, they've got options on the pitch and, the, and and I think if they weren't as wasteful with the change of play with a, with, with a distance passing they could have caused even more problems for, for Porto. Yeah they, they were queuing up for it yeah, again that little clip there it, it was so there was so much time to go around the back for a Porto it was the lovely ball in from Reese James you know they, they they warmed into the game I thought it was a bit bitty first half Chelsea understandable the bad performance but here they was aggressive I thought, like Glenn was saying earlier, I think the subs were excellent as well. Mm. You know, there's Pulisic getting, hitting the button. And, and I think they've worked Porto out in that second half. I th that's why I don't think the second leg's going to be any, going to be a problem. I think they know... Brave words, Joe. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, I, I hope so. I think they've worked them out. They know how to play. I, I think that's that's the end of Porto now. I think they'll just move think, the ball and get on. I think it must be a strange challenge. We've all played in your first leg and second leg at home and away. Yeah. Crowd, passion. Mm. To play, go back there in the same stadium again and now go, well, we're in the, we're in the home dressing room this time, yeah. you know, and they're in the away dress and they're thinking, well, if we score tonight, it, it count double and all this. It's, 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 it's a strange all situation. situation. The whole thing's like, yeah. I mean, it is remarkable logistically to have got this competition this far down yeah. the line. You know, some countries can play, some you can't. A staggering achievement, really. Football is kind of... We don't even, we don't even know where we are next week, do we? <laughs> um, <laughs> or do we? I never know where I am tomorrow. <laughs>